Welcome everyone to the Red Lounge, Rick Redman here, and we are now in week 7 of this Madden NFL 18 franchise for your Los Angeles Rams. Coming off back-to-back -back losses the two weeks prior, last week we were able to right the wrong and get us back on our winning ways, beating the Jacksonville Jaguars on the road pretty handily. So, and that showed it right here with these NFC uh, weekly player honors as Todd Gurley got the NFC Offensive Player Award and Kayvon Webster got the Defensive uh, NFC Player of the Week Award. So big time game for both those guys, but we have a big divisional game against the Arizona Cardinals coming up this week. So we got to make sure we are prepared and ready for that matchup. Now if you're wondering why we're in the free agent pool right now, it's because we did suffer a casualty in the field last week we lost Andrew Withworth our starting left tackle our best lineman for the next uh, couple weeks I think so we're gonna have to go in and actually find a replacement for him I don't like our backup tackle right now he's pretty low so we're gonna go ahead and sign another Andrew this is Andrew Gardner to a one-year deal to hopefully fill out that replacement for the time being but we're gonna get started and get right into this game action here we're four and two and the Cardinals are three and three so one game separates us in the division I think we're both falling we're both behind the Seahawks though as Seahawks are still the top of the division so pretty big game I would say for us I was a little bit surprised though why are we not in London the gifts game is supposed to be played in London that's so weird. They, I think I think not put us in London, but I was kind of hoping to play and, and see how that looks. But at least it's a home game for us, so can't complain too much here. As the Cardinals are going to go ahead and start off with the ball here, third and seven on their first possession. Palmer looks like he fell or something, but gets sacked by Aaron Donald. So Rams get the ball here to start it off here. Cardinals three and out, and then Gurley on their first on his first rushing attempt there gets a nice first down as you see his stats for the season playing like a playing like a pro bowl like he should be playing then on second and four here Goff's gonna find Robert Woods over the middle for a nice chunk of yards first down inside Arizona territory then on second and 11 here Goff dropping back he's looking but some pressure on the left side and he's sacked by Hagman so that's gonna take us back a little bit away from field goal range. We still have a shot here to get some yardage back. Third and 17 though. Huge third down attempt. We can get this though with Robert Woods over the middle. Inside the 10. So Woods now. 32 yards. Already make two catches already. And setting us up inside the red zone. Second and goal. Todd Gurley's going to go in for a touchdown. You know we're going to beat that man when we're in the goal line. So already starting off nice for us, 7-0 to start the game. And right now, winding down towards the end of the first quarter, Cardinals went three and out again. So now here come Gurley getting a nice another chunk of yards for a first down to end the first quarter. Then on third and six now inside Arizona territory, Blitz coming towards the right side now. And Goff is sacked again, this time by Green. So now it's fourth down out the 44. We would probably most likely think we would punt it, but the coach suggests we should go for the field goal and with the wind going in our favor Greg Zerline might have the leg to hit this and he does Greg Zerline that's a 61 yard field goal attempt I think that ties his career high from what I understand just barely clearing the upright and getting us now at least three points on that drive but here come the Cardinals now on offense David Johnson gets a first down actually their first first down I think for the whole game so now on the next play here first and ten Palmer's gonna find ooh John Brown who does get hit but not until he gets the first down his third catch of the game third and one now right at the 25 here big time of conversion here as Palmer's gonna find David Johnson on the left side catches it and goes untouched all the way for a touchdown miscommunication on defense for us right there as the Cardinals have cut the lead to three so now Rams with the ball here look at this here play action Goff before he gets hit throws it over the middle to Sammy Watkins for a 23 yard catch his first catch of the game then on second and 10 with two minutes to wind down screen pass to Gurley 
Gurley breaks a tackle. Some missed tackles here, and Gurley breaks through and could go all the way for a touchdown, and he does. What a play by Gurley. Looked like he made something out of nothing right there. As you see here, the linemen looked like they did their job blocking, and it looked like he was about to get trapped with these three Cardinal defenders, but somehow does a Houdini act and comes out of nowhere unscathed and dances his way for a touchdown as we go up by 10. Both under two minutes to play, Cardinals now have a shot to get a, either a field goal or a touchdown before the half. Great pass from Palmer on that play. And then now Palmer's gonna find Brown off the right side for a first down right at the 21 yard line, but they would only settle for a field goal, so we were able to hold them off to then. So now we have a chance to score before the half. But look at this, Tavon Austin says, hold up a second, why don't we just s score right now? We don't need to wait for the offense to get on the field because Tavon Austin is going to score off the kickoff return. 88 yards. Tavon making a statement here saying, hold up, I hear all these trade rumors. Why you got to trade me for? Well, he just made sure of it that he's at least going to make one last statement here before the trade deadline happens next week. We'll see if he is still with us or not. But in the meantime though, Cardinals now trying to get back into scoring position before the half. Gets a first down right there. Then inside the 44 here, Palmer's going to try to look for somebody on third and long, but he gets sacked. It's Aaron Donald again, his second sack of the game. And that's pretty much going to halt their drive for the Cardinals as the Rams will get the ball to start the second half up 24-10. So now on third down here to start the third quarter, Goff's looking back and he gets sacked from behind. So Cardinals do get the stop right here and we'll get the ball back. But Palmer now has a third and eight to deal with. Palmer's looking and he's gonna find the left side. Larry Fitzgerald tippy toeing for the first down. I think that's his first catch of the game. But now another third and eight now. Palmer looking, he's gonna find somebody else on the sideline. This time on the right side, it's to Brown. I always forget which Brown is Brown. There's 12 Brown and there's 13 Brown. But nonetheless here, on this play here, Palmer gets sacked by Robert Quinn. So that's going to take him back and eventually forces a punt. But now Rams with the ball. Look at this, another screenplay, but this time it's Tavon Austin to the right side. Going all the way. Touchdown. Are you kidding me? Two screen passes result into two touchdowns for Goff. And Tavon Austin once again making his presence known that, hey, I hear you. I hear you, Rams organization. You're trying to trade me. Well, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to make a lasting impression for these fans here. As Tavon goes all the way. Big time run after the catch as we go up 31 to 10 but more troubles ensue for the Cardinals as Palmer on their next possession gets picked off by Mark Barron he read that like a book pretty easily so now we would at least add three points Cardinals trying to make something happen here as Palmer now second and nine gets ooh, rocked by Alec Ogletree but Palmer was able to recover it back Palmer almost Rescue myself for another disaster, but on third and inches here, we're snuffing that out with Joyner with the big hit. So now on fourth and three, this is pretty much, I mean, if it isn't the game, this is pretty much the game for sure now. But he does convert for that first down to, to one of the Browns. So now on the next play, first and ten, we're sending the heat. This time Palmer is sacked for a loss. Clock is ticking now with halfway before the game ends here. Third and seventeen. Palmer's going to find David Johnson off the screen who looks like he will most, most likely does get the first down. So keeps the drive alive still going. Cardinals though do have to score because they are down by a lot here. So they got to go quick. And Palmer finally gets a touchdown. This time the Larry Fitzgerald. So cuts the lead to, I don't know why you guys are celebrating. Still got to get this onside kick. Down 17 here. They got to get points. Or down 18, sorry. Trying to get this onside kick to keep this game going, but no dice for the Cardinals and no dice for Bruce Arians as the Rams come up with another huge win, this time at home against a division rival, the Arizona Cardinals, 34-16.
So now we are at five and two, I believe, for the season. So heading into our bye week next week, that's a good time to hit the midway point, hit the reset button, and refresh and get ready for, I believe, the Giants the week after. But thank you guys for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. Until then, Rick Redman signing out.